First of all, you need to start your computer in safe mode with networking. Press Windows button and R button together on your keyboard. Windows run command box will appear on your computer screen. Type in msconfig and then press OK button. Now you can see the system configuration windows on your computer screen. Go to the boot tab. Select safe boot option. Check the network option. Then click on apply button. Finally press the OK button. Now your system will restart in safe mode within a couple of minutes. Now your computer has been started in safe mode. First you need to open the control panel. Then go to the file explorer options. Now click on the view tab. Then check show hidden files, folders and drives option. Then click on apply button and press ok button. Now we have to find and remove any malicious IP address that may connect your PC to remote server and give hackers access to your system. You just have to follow the path on the screen to open the Windows host file. Open it with Notepad. If your system has any virus then you will find some suspicious IP addresses here that you need to remove and then save the host file. Now we are going to remove virus related files and folders from the computer. Press Windows button and R button together on your keyboard to open run box. Type in percent app data percent and then press enter button now find and remove any suspicious files or folders related to the virus also look for any files created at the time virus attacked your pc be careful and don't remove any important folder Again press Windows and R buttons together on your keyboard to open the run box. Now type in percent local app data percent and press enter. Now find and remove any suspicious files or folders related to the virus. Also look for any files created at the time virus attacked your PC. Be careful and don't remove any important folder. Again press Windows and R buttons together on your keyboard to open the run box. Now type in percent program data percent and press enter. Now find and remove any suspicious files or folders related to the virus. Also look for any files created at the time virus attacked your PC. Be careful and don't remove any important folder. Again press Windows and R buttons together on your keyboard to open the run box. Now type in percent win dir percent and press enter. Now find and remove any suspicious files or folders related to the virus. Also look for any files created at the time virus attacked your PC. Be careful and don't remove any important folder. Again press Windows and R buttons together on your keyboard to open the run box. Now type in percent temp percent and press OK button. This time select all the files and folders and then delete them completely from your system. Again press Windows and R buttons together on your keyboard. Now type in temp and press enter button. 
This time again delete all the files and folders from your system. Now we will try to remove the virus from the Windows Registry Editor. Again press Windows and our buttons together on the keyboard. Now type in, Reg Edit and press Enter button. Be careful before meddling with the Registry Editor. Deleting wrong registry key can damage your computer entirely. If you have no prior experience with registry files, then please check out our detailed guide. You can find the link to our malware removal guide in the description of this video. Just follow the path on the screen to find and remove virus related registry file. When you find any virus related registry key then simply just right click on it and press the delete option. Then finally click on the yes button. You can also use the find option. Press Ctrl and F buttons together on your keyboard. Now type in the virus name and then click on search button. When you find the virus related registry key then delete it. By now you have most probably removed the virus from your computer successfully. You can now boot your computer in normal mode again. You have to just press the windows and R keys together to open the run box. Type in MS config and then press OK button. On system configuration windows, go to boot tab and check the